everybody and welcome back to the Grab and Goes for the Summer Reading Program. My name is Erica, you're here at Belmont Gardens with us. Today we're going to learn how to make an at-home lava lamp. All you need is an empty bottle, a container to put some water and food coloring. I used another empty bottle. Alka seltzer, oil, and food coloring. So, the first thing you're going to do and my project was very excited to get ahead of me, is put the oil inside of your empty bottle. You might need a parent's help with this, so please feel free to ask them, but you're gonna pour the oil about halfway into the bottle. So here we go. Make sure this is properly sealed this time. The next step you're going to take is to put water in a container and add food coloring. I already jumped ahead and did that because this project can get messy with the food coloring. After you add your food coloring, you're going to pour it into the container. You only want to fill it about three-fourths of the way, any more and it could overflow and you don't want that. Now, as you can see, there's already some droplets in here of red. That's because oil and water don't mix, which is great for this project. The last thing you're, want is, you're going to want to do to make this a real lava lamp is to take your Alka-Seltzer and break it in half. The only reason you're breaking it in half is to make it fit in easier. Now you're going to dump it in and watch. And as you can see, the alka seltzer is causing the water to come to the top, and it looks like a real true blue lava lamp. Please, safety things to remember do not put a cap on this while the alka seltzer is going. It will cause pressure, it will explode, your parents will be upset. Let it fizz out all the way, and once it's done, you can cap it and save it for later. This can always be reactivated with another capsule of alka seltzer. You can add glitter, you can do different types of food coloring, you can kind of do whatever you want, and you can keep this forever. All right, I hope you have a happy summer, and I'll see you next week for the next program. Bye.